The first question is, will I need to buy Neverwinter Nights 2 to play this? The answer is, yes, you will have to buy it. As you can see on my screen at the moment, it's the only best way to get the game. It costs um, $30 for the game original, but used is around, let me just click used, it's from $10. But yeah, I would definitely go for the used. The best thing about buying the game is you only have to pay for it once. There's no monthly costs or anything, so once you have a game, you can play it as much as you want. Question number two is, I was wondering if I could help out and test stuff for you guys. Um, well, that's kind of what I did. So yeah, to answer the question... Um, it's sort of like the uh, first question as well. Is that like, yeah, we love to have help. The project's gone so far with just somebody else added with me who was Colton. But yeah, the problem is you do actually need the game. Question three: Will there be a public server for you to connect on? Uh, yes. We will either rent cloud storage space or construct a server of our own. Um, to connect there would be an auto download type of clients but um, now Kossith will show you how we log in. Yep, so this is the uh, main home page of the Neverwinter Nights 2 game. I'm on to the multiplayer options, it's just as a load has uh, a long loading thing so I just skipped that. So. What we do now is Colton's hosting it at the moment, so I'll go direct connect the IP and the password. I'll connect. It will load up the um, module, what he's hosting, which is the server. I'll choose my character. You can create your own whenever. Well, if you're new, <laughs> there will be limited um, limits on what you can create though. Yep. But I'm just um, picking a dwarf at the moment to show some stuff later on. So yeah, as Colton said, um, what we do at the moment, we have no web hosting. We use a LAN server, which is called Tungle, which connects our LAN since we're on, since we live far away from each other. It's like three thousand miles, so it puts us on the same LAN over <laughs> the internet, so we can connect uh, through the um, game. So, let me just fix my camera a minute. That's still bugged. There we go. And here's Colton. So, you'll just log in as normal and see other people. <laughs> Question 4 is Will there be mini games like Fist of Guffix or The Jewel Arena? Um, yes. Actually, as you can see on Kossuth's screen here, um, we have a semi-functional dual arena and are planning on making many other mini-games in the near future. Yep. So as you see yep. in front of me, we have a dual arena outskirts. If Colin, you want to join in and try to run towards it like an idiot? Sure, that'll yep. be good. We'll hit a barrier. So every place in RuneScape free to play has been built but the jewel arena it's um I, I don't want to build the jewel arena yet without making it actually functional so as you can see if I go to the obstacle arena you can just see the outskirts so it doesn't look like there's just an open barren wasteland but as you can see behind the statues there you can see the like jewel arena area bit with the obstacle arena bit if you can see it on the map. No, you can't see on the map. You can on the mini map though. But yeah, Fist of Guffix, we will probably do much, much later. Jewel Arena will probably be the first priority, so there is actually a mini game in the game, but it will probably be the last priority before we actually upload the project to the public. And the fifth question is, what engine do you use to build this? So the, it's not really, I won't really call it an engine. It does have a name, it's like a, the Aurea toolset or something. Well, that's what it was called in Neverwinter Nights 1, but 
Yeah, uh, I've showed it in many videos because it's a question asked so many times, but since it is a QA, and a I'll ask, eh, answer it again. So yeah, the game comes with sort of a stupid question, but it comes with a game and a tool set. Uh, but with the tool set, you, um, I'm trying to, I can't really compare it to any other game if anybody else knows. Actually, oh, like Skyrim's. Yeah, but that's sort of difficult because it isn't so many there, yeah, so much customizable. That's true. So, okay, so um, I'll open since I brought the game in Steam, but which you can't buy it in now. I'll just show you how I um load it up. So here we have my Steam games. I'll go into the library. What's it? Yeah, here's my. Wait, where to go? <laughs> Here's my Neverwinter Nights 2 game, the Platinum Edition, which comes with the two DLCs. So I'll just go into my tools, and here we have my Neverwinter Nights 2 Platinum Map Editor. So I'll open up that, I'll get this, which basically means I can make my own map. So let me just make a area at the moment, because this is what it turns out to be like. So let me call this um, Test Lumbridge. I'm going to make an exterior. You can make interiors as well. You can change the size. Okay, so here we have just flat grass. So imagine seeing flat. So this is what I started with a project. Just one area into my side. So it's just flat grass. And I just turned that into all of this. Lumbridge, and there's other places such as Varrock, Falador, and it all started from flat grass. And if I try to zoom into the um, path, you can see that's a bad example. Um, uh, bad example again. Quick, let me get to Alcarid. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I've tried to make it more um, realistic with lumps and bumps and. A nice terrain bump. Yeah. There is a mod which I downloaded which uh, makes it look more 3D. Because as you can see on the Tesla Bridge, the, it's just pure flat. So roads in real life, they aren't like perfectly flat in past. There's going to be like dents and stuff. And the sixth question is, is it like EOC? The answer to that is no, it's not. The combat is pre-EOC, but a mixture of EOC, if you'd want to say. So, yeah. Um, if I could <laughs> probably test on Cobb, no, I can't. Okay, so we're in Lumbridge, we've got some goblins in front of us, and we're unarmed. We're level 1, but hopefully we could try to show you the combat system. So The combat is similar to RuneScape, as in its turn base. Yeah. And there's like uh, power attacks, but um, those are uh, temporary and stuff. You can turn them on and off. And as you can see, I've slightly pissed off these goblins, and now they're going to come kill us. I think, yeah, they're taller than me. <laughs> yeah, I pulled the aggro. Oh, I got one. Oh god, you just hit that one. Right, let me just try to show you this. this yeah, of course, after one bitch. hit. Yeah, there's a, um, there's a problem with your camera controlments of it being like little jotty and sticky but there is a <laughs> mod which fixes it well I should have noticed so let me just turn my camera at the moment yeah you see it's really buggy okay so now there is a video which I'll link onto this it shows the combat in the different levels of combat because the higher level you are the faster combat you move so Say if I were to punch Colton as much as I'd love to, it would probably take me six seconds between each punch, but if I were max level, it would probably take one to two seconds between the punch. And the seventh question is, how are skills going? The question answer to that, sorry, is nothing really. We haven't worked on skills yet, so my recent video is the 
what we're actually doing at the moment is the items and prices and such. So say if I were to, as you can see we're in the fire altar at the moment, let me just get a zoom around that, looks nice, a lot of dead trees. But so yeah, say if I want to do the work on the rune crafting skills, I need the items such as um, pure essence or essence. And then I'd need the talismans, tiaras, and runes. So instead of just me working on the skill and then having nothing to work on, so like if I wanted to make, um, yeah, we're in the fire altar. So if I wanted to make some fire runes, I couldn't just be able to do it. But for example, of how rune crafting will be done is to access, you need to talk to the boulder at the front. It's not like um literally you're talking to the boulder, it's like um You're worshipping the boulder. <laughs> it's like um how to put it Using it. Yeah you yeah you're using it. You just get the option to Yes. Instead of it like having a dialogue. But it will seem like you're actually having a dialogue with the object. So I'd need a fire talisman or tiara to enter the fire altar and then I'd with my essence I'd come to the boulder in the middle I'd with my essence I'd transfer the essence to fire runes fire runes will be used for spells it's a bit obvious but fire spells etc you need the chaos runes and such chaos runes aren't craftable in free to play nor will they be in free to play to be crafting but they will be only looted which is going to be a bit of a pain <laughs> for new players mm -hmm. but yeah when you craft I meant when you transfer the pure essence to fire roots you get XP from it so it is actually good to be so if I show you for example of leveling up a skill this is my character sheet I'm a level 1 and if I go to my skills page so everything you do in the game will give you XP so if I do a quest it'll give me XP to my XP bar if I kill monsters it'll make the XP go up more if I do skills it'll make the XP go up more so unlike runescape if you start to woodcut you'll get um, XP in the woodcutting skill and it'll level up that instead of to make it similar, if I were to woodcut in RuneScape, I'd get XP to my combat level. So say if there was an XP bar for your combat level, if I woodcutted it a lot, it would make my combat level go up. So here's the skill pages. These are the default Neverwinter Nights 2 skills, which will be scrapping and adding our own. So for example, I'll replace Appraise with Runecrafting. And I'll be a level 2 rune crafter. So, for fire runes, it's level 17, I believe, in RuneScape to craft them. So, if I do have the requirements, say if I had a fire up talisman, I could still come into the fire altar, but the boulder wouldn't respond to me because I don't have the rune crafting level. But if I do, then. Yeah, it would respond to me and accept the pure essence for fire runes. So, if I level up rune crafting even more, the higher the um, altars, the more XP I'll get. So, it's really different type of. If you want to be a skiller, you'll focus all your skills since there is a cap on level. So, the level cap is. Um, 30 so if I got to level 30 and I was a skiller I'd focus all my skills in say like rune crafting, smithing, mining but if it came to things like combat say like strength would give me more HP or something I'd be a lot weaker in combat but I'd be the same level as a max level <laughs> if that makes sense so other skills such as smithing, mining, those are the foundations of them have been planned if 
So look, if you can mine some ore, you could trade it in for bars, then turn that bars onto an anvil onto uh, into a plate and such. Those will be the same found well basics as the um, rune crafting as I just ex explained. So to smith higher armor and weapons you need a higher skill in smithing. And to mine ore and such you need the more higher skill. Things like fishing and food which we haven't actually shown in the project yet. Uh, we always use the god mode if we ever do combat. <laughs> So fishing, you just go to a lake, there is a fishing mod which I love and hopefully we'll get. You'll fish at a river, say like for trout I believe at Lumbridge. You could fish on the lake, not lake, um, river stream for fish. That fish will be raw. You need a fire to then cook the food. It might take a lot of scripting and programming depending on, we'll probably make it the better for fire. The longer it will last and such. In cooking, the higher the cooking, the less the chances of burning the food or fish. So yeah, that's your skills. We'll give more information on it at the moment, it's just I haven't worked on them at all yet. We want the items out of the way so we can, you know, actually work on to the skills. Okay, so the last bit of the video it's just a few comments I've noticed from time to time now. <laughs> this is just for one example. It is... Do you want to read it out, Colson? Yeah, yeah. I'll... I'm honored to read this out. <laughs> it says, Ew, laugh my ass off. Look at RS now. Rip RuneScape. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was, um... Oh, boy. It was on uh, Demon Slayer duo um, commentating video. I forgot what I titled it. Yeah, it was on that video. <laughs> it's uh, just a part of Varrock in South of Varrock, the road to Varrock. So much Varrock. Um, it's just hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe somebody actually... F I don't know if they were trolling or anything, or just... Or maybe they thought it was actually RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> that's Well, that's good that it looks like RuneScape, yeah. And we're glad, so thank you. That's actually the surprisingly thing I've never one comment out of everything since it first ever went um you know, um public or what you ever want to call it, the channel. Um because nobody's actually ever said it doesn't look like RuneScape. <laughs> yeah. I was so happy about because I've sp probably spent one month trying to perfect Lumbridge from every tree to the size of grass and what colour grass. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's been a few of it, that's just one example. But it's just funny to see, well, and good for us to see how people think it's actually RuneScape. <laughs> Some of them, sometimes I've actually replied, but I don't think they've ever replied back. So yeah, <laughs> that's just the funniest comment I've seen. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any more comments, just feel free to not comment them. Um, if you've got any more questions, just feel free to post them in the section below. And you know, we'll just contact back and just reply onto the video. Not through a video, but on the video. <laughs> so yeah, the next thing we'll probably be looking to do is I really want to do another um, you know, duo commentary of um, a gameplay like the Demon Slayer because it's it was a long time since I started. Well, I couldn't really play the project on my laptop. Now with my desktop back, it was so much fun to actually play the project again and do a quest with Colton, which was a Demon Slayer. So yeah, I'd really love to do another quest gameplay and probably do that since. We are still working on the items, it's not really fun to view. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Anything to say, Colton? Um Thank you for your questions and Happy New Year. Yep. Happy New yep. Year. Happy New Year. Not really, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you should probably <laughs> cut that out. <laughs>